it's a pleasure to chat with you again. Definitely, our, from my assignment, our special advisor to Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as his advisor on ethics and values. Of course, naturally, I believe in the utilization of ethics for the good of mankind. And therefore, since we have accepted that ethics is uh, simply about the good character, uh, and we say in Christianity that's about righteousness, and in Sharia is about uh, in, Christ in in Islam that's about Sharia, and in I'm sure in other uh, religions they will agree that it's all about good character and compassion for humankind. So we feel that when people have such good qualities, according to their faith background, they they bring it to bear on how they behave in the office and how well, what they do in politics, what they do in leadership, what they do in governance, what, what they do in development process and defending the human rights or, or, or fighting for the marginalized and the, and the voiceless. And therefore, we still feel that that means everyone who is going to be a leader must understand the correct definition of politics, of leadership, of, uh, of, of equity of the dignity of human life and therefore for anyone, any group of people, any faith that brings on people, uh, uh, mediocres as leaders at any level in any, in, in any sector, these people must accept that they are saboteurs of development, of development of, the, of, of the world. They are saboteurs of the development of their communities and even the development of their countries, even the continent. And this is the challenge. When we're talking of the MDG, the goals, and uh, the role that ICT is, is playing, one, because we feel, we feel that ethics, ethics is, uh, is the preventer, is the, key, is, is the key catalyst for development. Now, and ethics is also the, the, uh, development is the security, and ethics is the, the the preventer and the antidote to all the conflicts, the crises we're having. It, it it is it is the preventer of any delayed development. Therefore, if we are going to have political leaders, everything we do, unless it goes to political table, as well, that would well, that will partner with the non-government uh, government organizations like ICD that is uh, uh, specializing in cultural, cultural diplomacy, it is relevant to say that it is only people who are ethically matured that can even understand the language of cultural diplomacy because they accept the way people are, are, are made, the individualism of the people, they accept and understand the people, they also are open, they're objective and they accept and they respect. They, there's a culture of mutual respect, it's a culture of mutual understanding, it's an it's a, it's a, it's a issue of uh, uh, mutual uh, over acceptance of how you are, and at the same time, it's a culture of edifying one another so they can have what you might call people grown, citizen grown, grown, and sustainable as well as perpetuation, for perpetuation of local family security, community security, and uh, peaceful coexistence, as well as, uh, how would I put it, uh, socio-economic development. Uh, because if, if, if uh, values unite people, ethics harmonize people, everybody will be good to be doing that which is good. You have no problem. They would have added value. There will not be a nuisance. So we now find that the communities themselves, from the grassroots, nationwide, continent-wide, will be the people that are going to be the builders and the custodians of their, of their security. We have less work for the police. We have less money to pay for, for defense. And we, we still argue that the fact that African countries have more budget on defense, and they want to buy more of the arms of AK-47, and the AK-47 is not meant for uh, to, to kill mosquitoes. It's, it's still appointed against ourselves. Some good wisdom must tell us that it's high time we thought. For how long are we going to be enslaved, uh, enslaved ourselves to uh, killing ourselves? Because somebody wants to do business. And therefore, it, ICD will be coming on, bringing on the issue of ethics as foundational, foundational blocks. That if people understand basic knowledge about ethics, good character, or righteousness, or sharia, they will come to the table with the mind of raising the standard of, of goodness, of integrity, of compassion, of goodwill. And then we should have a better way of, uh, of having, realizing peaceful world, peace building for ourselves. And this is the challenge to, to United Nations. 
if the United Nations will have to accept that this world and celebrate International Ethics Day as we do in Nigeria, celebrating National Ethics Day, it is at that forum you and we can be asking questions. Issues about unethical extraction of, of, of Africa's uh, resources. Why would somebody, a government official, steal money from a developing country, take it to a rich country, and they accept it without questioning? And when we ask, they don't want to return the money back to us. They know to receive such stolen money is unethical. To, 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 to steal it is unethical. To receive it is unethical. And the United Nations must start to ask these global ethical questions that must be answered at global levels, for, uh, give, give uh, global ethical answers. And that's the only way people are going to, uh, the, sec, the next generation under us will now realize that the old values that we had from our scriptures, from our old uh, religions, still hold for us. And that also has a lot to do with our lives, uh, the way we, 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 we dignify our lives, the way we dress, the way we, 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 we <coughs> the, our manners and our habits. We'll be so organized and disciplined. And I believe it's hard that we give value to our civilization and not to have civilization to destroy our sense of dignity and uh, the, uh, the value for, for our lives. So I believe we have a lot to do with ethics, with cultural diplomacy, social, social cultural development that affects the MDG. If human being in action, or in Nepal, or in AU, or in Commonwealth, or United Nations, the human beings is high time we added good positive values to our, our, our knowledge, and not to make a civilization a way of uh, dysfunctional madness in our lives, but should be a way of improving our, the quality of our lives and enjoy the happiness as a reality. God bless you.